Okay. So there are various aspects of zakah uh, that we normally would talk on. And of course, the two or three key ones would be what is the objective of zakat? Why do we give zakat? Beside it being a fard, it being an obligation which a Muslim must give, why do we give zakat? <clears throat> and so uh, we would want then people to understand that. The last part is the distribution of zakat, inshallah, we will touch on that a bit later. But the main and the key component aspect of our discussion today rests on the calculation of zakat and there are four key elements to the calculation of zakat and what makes you obligated to pay zakat. The one is the nisab, the second one is the haul, the third is the ownership aspect and the fourth is that the asset that you have must have the potential for growth. And we will go through these in between the questions as the questions start coming in. So uh, as soon as the questions come in, I will take a break from this and address the question and come back to you inshallah.